So as you know here on my channel, I've talked about how I am recently jumping into the Emily Lay Simplified Planner World. I read her one book, um, I'll link it down below, and I really enjoyed what she had to say in it and realized a lot of the things she talked about I could implement into my life and boy do I need it. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the difference between the Erin Condren Planner, the Emily Lay Simplified Planner Weekly Spread, and Daily Spread. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Trina if you are new here and on this channel, I'm bringing you into my journey to simplify and organize motherhood because as you know, being a mom is hashtag surviving. And one of the ways I'm really trying to figure out how to survive motherhood is just get things simplified and organized, right? Routines for us are the hardest things to do, so if I can figure out how to master that, life is solved. But more recently, I found Emily Lay in her simplified world, and prior to that, I was using Erin Condren planners. So I wanna show you real quick the difference between them. So I'm gonna actually showing you the Erin Condren planner, what it looks like on the inside, versus the daily simplified planner and the weekly simplified planner. Now, before we jump in, I wanna let you know my giveaway is still going on, so if you wanna win one of these simplified planners plus Laura Casey's Cultivate What Matters power sheets, a sticker book, and a pack of pens from the Cultivate What Matters brand. Go to the link down in the description box. It's going to tell you exactly how you can enter. Once you go to that page, um, the link down below, it's going to show you how you can subscribe to my channel for three entries to win. You can also watch the video that I have linked over there for another three entries to win. Comment on that video for three more entries to win and follow me on my Instagram account that's focused purely on simplifying and organizing motherhood. So that's 12 total ways that you could win. The grand prize winner is gonna get everything that I just mentioned. There's also gonna be three other winners who are going to win um, a simplified planner. I have one daily to give away and two weeklies to give away. So make sure you check that out after you watch this video because I wanna make sure you win. And I also want you to see the difference between all of them. So if you do happen to win, you can decide if you want the daily, no this is the weekly, or the daily. So let me show you the inside. Okay, so this is my first foray into the whole planner videos. This is not something I'm accustomed to, but it's something I'm trying this year on my YouTube channel. I am normally an Erin Condren user. I've been using Erin Condren planners. This is my fourth one, and I just fell in love with them a while ago. I'm a vertical user. If you're an Erin Condren person, you'll understand what vertical is. And in this particular one, I did the neutral palette because I just didn't like all of the uh, colors. But in 2019, I'm trying something totally new and I'm jumping into the Simplified Planner pool. I actually have the Daily Planner right here and I have the Weekly Planner as well. So we can kind of compare all three real quickly just to see sizing wise and all that kind of stuff. So let's just take a look at the Erin Condren versus the Emily Lay Daily Planner. Let's look at the thickness of these two and you can quickly see that the Simplified Planner is a lot thicker than the Erin Condren Planner. It doesn't really bother me. I keep most of my planners here in my office anyways. I don't necessarily trek out the door with these, so it's not a big deal, but if you think these are pretty thick, this one is a lot thicker. When you pull in the weekly planner of the Simplified Planner Edition, you'll see, first of all, that it's a lot smaller in size. Um, you can see if we line it up, that the Erin Condren Planner is bigger, and the Erin Condren Planner is definitely a lot thicker. But we'll look on the inside to compare these as well to see if, like, if one of these are better for you or not. But I decided to go with the Daily Planner because I really want to focus on routines and organization in my life in 2019. You can expect more of these in my videos coming up. So when you open these up, uh, the Erin Condren has this little, um, clear-ish paper and then the on the go planner whereas simplified planner has some stickers and also where you can put your name what the Erin Condren planner also has is the next page is your year in advance here uh, with some quotes so you get to see your whole year straight up front here whereas with the simplified planner what you get on the second page is a little note from Emily what I'm actually looking forward to in the simplified planner I'm actually gonna go ahead and skip forward to you is instructions, okay? Instructions on the process of simplifying 
Friends, this is what my goal is for 2019. And this is what I'm gonna be doing on my channel is showing you how I am trying to simplify my life and just get my life organized. So I'm loving how she walks through this. I'm definitely gonna be doing this probably along with my power sheets uh, at the end of December. Um, I like how she tells you how to get this all set up and they get messy. She says to get messy. Um, then here is the breakdown of the entire year in 2019 and a breakdown of the holidays. I cannot wait to dig into these. I love just getting my ideas down and prepping for a year ahead. So this is something Erin Condren Planner does not have. I am really looking to get this nailed down in 2019. I'm gonna be bringing you along on my journey to figure it out, but I cannot wait to dig into this. She also, Emily Lay also has a book that I have read that I'm also gonna to try to incorporate as well. And I love just breaking down specific tasks for certain days. She gives you just great ideas to get ready for the year. And if you would like to see a video of how I set up my planner, let me know down in the comments below. Just say you would like to see how I finally set this up and I can absolutely do that for a video if you would like to see that and then we jump into the month so here you get a full spread of the entire month I like to sit down at the beginning of the month and write everything in here so I get a quick um, month at advance here and this is basically just appointments or calls not like specific tasks just things that I have to be at and then from here it jumps into each day and you see it has it broken down by time i love this because i have calls at certain times so i like to see my day um, broken out that way and then I also like to have my to-do list. So I have daily to-do list here. Um, I love having a little check mark here and then notes. So that goes through every single day of the week. But on the weekends, it has just a little bit of a shorter page because hopefully you're not doing something every single hour of the day on the weekends. And she gives you some ideas too. So like meal prep and tidy up for a clean slate on Monday. I cannot wait to dig into this. But let me show you what the Erin Condren plan look like and how I particularly use that so after you have this built out then you kind of have a don't call it a dream call it a plan so these were kind of my goals that I set for 2018 and then it jumps right into the month it doesn't give you any prep work or any idea to think about routines I did not use these pages at all in this planner I'm not sure what I would have used these if you had any ideas no idea what to use these so it also had a month spread here, and these were all the videos that I had planned for that month, so I could see at a month what videos were going up. Also, if I had to film, what videos I was filming, and that's how I used the monthly spread. Whereas Erin Condren has the week built out, and I would try to use this as these were all my client tasks that I had to do. These were my business tasks that I had to do. And then these were my meal planning. So you can see this was the first week of the year. I did not work that week, so there's nothing written right here. And then I used this space right here to write down those tasks. So if we flip to say this particular week that I'm shooting this, you can see that I have client tasks, I have things that I need to do for my business, and then specific tasks that I need to complete. I did like this ruler as a way to hold my place, but it falls out and it's not very sturdy, so I got kind of angry at that. Um, but you can see how I just had this broken out. I sat down every Sunday and mapped this entire week out for myself just so I knew exactly what I was doing. Now let's compare these two real quick with the Simplified Planner Weekly Spread. So the weekly spread is much, much smaller, easy to go ahead and throw in your bag into your purse. And when you open it up, you've got these little stickers as well, um, similar to the daily spread. So you have a letter from Emily, how to use the planner, uh, breakdown of the year, also the holidays, the same exact prep work. Um, so the beginning of it is the exact same as the daily and then you have your month spread and this is how the week is spread out for the weekly planner so it's just smaller little um, sections and it doesn't have the hours broken out but it does have your little to-do list right here it also has a little space here for your notes i think that's like a little pot like a simmering pot for maybe what you're having for dinner that day i actually really like that because uh, I plan out my dinners for every single meal. But that's kind of how the weekly planner is. That's why it's smaller, because you don't have as much space to write. So this definitely would work for you if you don't need a whole lot of space to write. You're very strategic in what you write down. 
but the weekly, the daily would be more for people who like to write. All right, which one are you loving most or which planner are you using for 2019? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to sign up for the giveaway. The winner will be drawn on December 14th. That way I can make sure I get you all of your stuff before the new year. I can't wait to share this with you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and watch this video right here on what you can expect from this channel coming up. Thank you so much, bye.